Beautiful people, welcome back to the Tiberian Sun Adventures channel with your host Steelcock and today we are looking at sneaky game changer EMP positions for the map terraces in our bottom left and bottom right and the reason I say game changer is because uh, if your opponent doesn't know you have an EMP then you can EMP their stuff, destroy it and get a huge advantage in the uh, early part of the game if they're attacking you so this is really good if you're not uh, teching up or you're dealing with an aggressive player uh, because you can actually EMP their stuff effectively so let's get straight into it um, what I want to do is show you just uh, two quick videos and then I want to show this video of me playing against an opponent and what actually happened during the game so the first one is uh, bottom left and I'll just get through this quickly there's no no reason to spend a heap of time looking at it um, if you know me by now, then you know that I like to use my cell refineries in a 4 or 5 ref to expand out to interesting positions. Uh, I've done that in top right and in top left um, to expand out to that top right uh, blue Tiberium patch, which helps equalize the position with our bottom left. Now you can see I'm putting down um, two refs. And in fact, you could probably do this a bit differently, uh, if I can get the right video playing. Um, you could actually go, okay, so the first thing is I've moved my MCV. Now you could actually expand to the left-hand side, build the first ref there, use a second ref, uh, and then put the third ref down in that spot. Just depends on how you want to do it. So I'll just um, jump through this. So use the uh, sec sorry third ref um, to place that silo. Power management's a pain. Obviously power off the uh, barracks, and I think we're at 90 out of 100 power, so should be low power now. Yep. And there we go. Okay, so it's 100 when you've got three refs and one silo. Um, so that's at a four ref at that point. So then I've got into a war factory. And I'll probably use the radar to expand out as well. Um, and it looks like that's exactly what I've done. So use that um, radar. And guess what? We're in this really neat little position. I'll tell you why that's really interesting. Um, and that is because when their scouts come through, they never usually go into that corner. And I actually did a bit of an experiment to see the range of the scouting of uh, infantry and it looks like when they run past here unless they're queued to the left hand side they they actually don't uh, reveal the EMP and the shroud so those early scouts that come in from the top left from uh, that BL position um, actually don't need to turn that off um, they don't uh, see that EMP which is really useful now the other big problem is uh, with this I mean it's a great hiding spot uh, one issue is of the range and if you're dealing with disruptors uh, it's not such a big deal right but if you're dealing with tight ends from this direction you can really only EMP them when we get to uh, and I'll show you the range in a second let's see if we can jump forward in the video to see that oh you can do a, a pad as well so the pad is another thing that you do want to conceal because uh, it is vulnerable and it does illustrate the fact that you have um, that you're taking up and sometimes you can look at the number of infantry that are on the map, um, you know, if you've already sent your infantry out, your opponent can see, well, there's five infantry that have popped up out of nowhere all together, so that's probably a tech center. Um, they might be wondering why you're taking up without a pad, but you can also, as I said, put that pad in that position as well to conceal the fact that you have got a, um, that you are teched. And that means that you can, you can get your MK to come out at the same time as your carry-all to give your opponent the least... Um, least notice possible so EMP's charged okay so let's look at the range in that EMP I have put in that video so um, now the other thing that you can do that's really interesting is you can use that as a, as a spot to charge your EMP to conceal it and as the Titans come down you'll have plenty of notice cancel whatever you're building start building an EMP and when they get there place the EMP here or probably back in your base behind a SAM EMP straight away and uh, that means that your opponent will have no nose and they'll probably be a bit surprised by uh, what's just happened to them so some really interesting tactics there um, hiding the pad up there I probably wouldn't do both of them because uh, the issue with that is that those positions are very vulnerable and uh, you can put up a SAM to protect uh, but you know infantry can get through um, or you can have a MK take a few shots to the carry and um, then continue through to destroying that EMP. But really interesting tactic. I wouldn't give that one away straight away to an, an opponent. I would um, first see how they scout, see if you can anti-scout that little corner I was talking about. And, um, you know, because as soon as you do that trick, your opponent will be looking for it. 
Um, so to see how they scout and uh, I guess um, make it you know, make an appropriate decision. Bottom right, you can do something very similar. You can see I'm using two refineries. Um, now, normally you use your uh, your halves to halve out this patch and put down a um, refinery in that spot to get closer to the Tiberium. And I believe with this build order, you can do that. So what you've seen here is, in fact, a silo in that spot because you can't put down another ref. So it's two refs, silo, ref, and silo. And by the time we get to the fourth ref, I think if we want to do a five ref, we can actually put a, a fifth ref in this position um, because we have actually uh, dug out all that Tiberium. And let's just see where we get to. So again, power management. I forgot to power off the hand. And that's that's why I was actually having a problem with power. So if you power off the hand, then when you're building those uh, silos, you're getting it at the full speed. Um, now I made a mistake here. What I should have done is kept that silo there and I've actually gone back and rebuilt um, in the correct order um, and, and actually use those power plants to expand instead of in the bottom right hand corner. And now I'm using the radar as a expansion point that will then be sold instead of that power plant which I originally did. So two refs and I've done a, done a uh, four ref here. So this can be done as a four ref or as a five ref. You're only building two extra silos one, two, is it two, I think? Two or three. So you're not doing your standard seven silos to get to the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, and you're doing it in very early game as well. Um, which means that your opponent, when they scout this section, because they often don't go to the corners, they won't see you um, putting those silos up and get suspicious about where that silo is leading to in the shroud, um, which can tip them off that you're doing something sneaky. So the earlier you get in that corner, the better. Uh, unless they actually do scout or get the opportunity to scout bottom right hand corner but a lot of players are lazy so um, I'm always trying to rewind to see how many uh, silos but one then a ref then a silo then a ref okay so three silos and we're in bottom right with that radar and uh, and again we have an issue with range as well so this is a really good strategy to charge your EMP while you are not teched um, dealing with an aggressive opponent that's uh, taking up you can build up your economy instead and catch them off guard by the fact that they um, they don't know that you have an EMP and then you can use it. But you can see the range, I think it was up here and then around to this side. I was kind of perplexed about the fact that it looked like it was further out to the side than it was up top. But that's just, um, I think, what happened with the... Um... Okay, so I was just going over it there. I want to show you so you actually know that I'm not bullshitting. I'm trying to find the range at this point. Um, so you can see out to the corner as well. So probably if they're coming in from the top, not great. But if they're coming in from the side with Titans, um, good. Uh, but again, you probably want to place that uh, other EMP in the middle and shoot it straight away after you've placed it at the uh, correct time. Really good strategy because if you have an EMP in the, in the center, then they're just going to use infantry or a disruptor or bombers to get rid of it. But this is an excellent strategy to deal with um, those... EMP eradication strategies. Now the other advantage of being in that corner, I don't know if it happens in that bottom left position I showed you in the last video, is that um, when it gets shot with air units, um, they do kind of get jammed up in the corners. So you can have an ethical argument about whether that's a glitch that shouldn't be exploited, like some people will use infantry to jam up uh, units as they're landing, and they, you know, those units then got shot down by SAMs because then the in the air longer but um you know the fact of the matter is the game works in this way and when you try to fly banshees or bombers in which i'll do when i get uh three of them first shot fine they get caught up which allows extra shots in that sam um and i'll replay that for you so you can see it again extra shots by the sam and additional time for a engineer to get in if you actually do have one down in the um bottom right hand corner so you can see they're jammed up miss a second shot, come through on the third one, get caught up again, um, which again is just additional time for that Sam to be taking shots. So now the exciting part is actually watching someone's game. This is their recording in our top right. Um, and they've they've uploaded this and I've watched it, which has been great. I made a lot of mess ups because this is actually the first time I've used this uh, strategy to build um, an EMP to uh, that corner in bottom left. And um, yeah, I did a lot of things. Like I didn't uh, Sam up my, I didn't get Sam tech, so you'll see me build, place a uh, radar here in a moment. Um, 
maybe you won't because I'm going to skip ahead. So, I've tried to anti-scout this region of the map and you can see that he's tried to come through. I've killed some infantry or he's gone back. But that, where that EMP is right here and um, presumably he doesn't know that exists. If someone's using uh, mapping software then maybe it's a bit different but... Um, yeah, I made a lot of mess-ups <laughs> in this. I'm kind of embarrassed, actually. Um, but I got flustered by trying to build those refineries without practice and manage my build options at the same time as manage scouting and putting pressure on with a... Uh... So you can see that uh, MKs come through. If a scout came through, you wouldn't see it. At this point, I, I manage my power badly, and I think... Um, you'll see I lose these two refs because I wasn't... I was trying to... Oh, so I lost that power plant. And that's when my power went down low. Oh, it's my MK that shot it. Okay. And I'm freaking out trying to restore power. So I power everything off and I'm able to use my EMP. Here it comes. Knocks out that MK. So, um, and I could have used it for these Titans coming up in front as well. Yeah, I fucked up my keys as well. I'm talking about that. But anyway, I wanted to... Um, use this video as a way to illustrate an actual game and how that EMP is shrouded over here. Now he has discovered it, I've sold it uh, to try to conceal the strategy. He's probably seen I've sold the EMP or seen the shot off, but now this opponent knows that I have this strategy. Uh, but if you rewind the video, when he's coming in and he's using these infantry to scout, maybe he's using it as an opportunity to see if I have an EMP. Uh, and again, maybe the other thing I should have done is if I see that he's taking up building bombers and all sorts of shit, I shouldn't have teched up myself. I should have just built defensively, built some SAMs um, because I have got that EMP there that he's unaware of. So if you look at that base, you can't see an EMP. And um, that's when it wipes him out. So you use this strategy once um, with each opponent or maybe when they come back or if they're sloppy with their scouting or if you can anti-scout this uh, region quite well, um, then, then it's probably not a bad idea, but consistently do it once they know about it. They'll, uh, they'll probably defend quite well. But guys, I hope you enjoyed those um, uh, three videos I just want to illustrate. So bottom left and bottom right. Really good um, way to uh, work against an opponent that is aggressive, um, or if you want to build up your economy while looking weak and concealing your um, ability to defend yourself. So, anyway guys, hope you enjoy this video. Um, yeah, and enjoy some games and I'll see you soon. See ya.